Hey everyone, the Network Berg here. Hope you've been doing well. In this video, we'll be looking at importing custom images into Eve NG. The custom images are actually just going to be symbols like the routers and switches and such that you see in front of you. So you'll be able to create your own custom topologies. It doesn't have to be these images. If you have other images that you want to use, you'll be more than welcome to use them. I'm just going to show you how to import these images into Eve NG so that you can use them. So before we jump into the video, I just want to remind people to like and share the videos if you find any value in the content and a subscribe to the channel also goes a long way. Anyways, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so before we start with any importing, first things first, I want to give credit where credit is due. And these symbols that you're going to be using is created by somebody by the name of Esamon. Um, he initially made these for GNS3. So you might see a lot of people use them in GNS3 as well, but you can use them in Eve NG. It is public domain and I really want to thank Esamon for making these images. They look fantastic and they work great in any topology. You could even use them in Visio, which is what I think they were initially made for as well, but it's there. So let's jump into it. I've actually got SMN's GitHub here with the original details. So I've used his details where he's got SVG images, which I've converted into PNG because you need PNG images in EVNG in order to use the symbols. So I'm going to post a link into Esmond's um, GitHub for you to visit if you want to look at the stuff. But I've also created my own repository where I've stored the PNG files, which are the correct, correct size as well as the correct file format. So this would probably be where you want to download it unless you want to individually convert all the files yourself and change the symbol sizes. More than welcome to do that as well, but it's going to be a hassle. So I've already done this for you here. So I've created this. You can download this onto your desktop. And all right, let me just run a normal download, download zip. So I'm just going to wait for the download. It's going to be super quick because it's super small. And I'm just going to extract this into my downloads folder. So that is the, <laughs> the easy part is just downloading the PNG files. Next step, we need to actually just bring the images into Eve NG. So I'm also just going to open up Eve NG quickly. Let me log into my Eve NG so that you can see there are no images there before we start and that they're going to be images now afterwards. So here is a small lab that I created to test something for HA on Mikrotik. It was super fun doing that, but I'm going to repurpose this lab now just to create those custom images. So if I right click on a node and I click on edit, then the icon here, if you click on the drop down, these are all of the icons that come with Eve NG. So whenever you import an appliance, it will most likely be linked to one of these objects and you'll be working from here. It, if you click one of these icons, it will appear as such on the topology. See? So what we're going to do is on Eve, we're just going to add more icons and it's relatively simple to do. Similar to how you would import extra routers or firewalls or appliances, we're just going to upload the information or the files into EVNG onto the server. So I'm going to use WinSCP for that. So I'm going to open that up quickly. I'm just going to drag WinSCP into a place where people can see it. Come here, Mr. SCP. Okay, there we go. So there is my Eve server 192.168.246.200. And I'm going to log on to it with the root Eve default credentials. And I just want to navigate to the following folders. So I'm going to go back. I'm on root now. So we're going to go into OPT. We're going to go into unit lab. And from unit lab, you'll see there is an HTML folder. We'll go into HTML and inside HTML, there's images. <laughs> So in images, there's icons. So we go to the icons and there's all the icons, all the icons that we imported of those other appliances. If you right click again, when you look at the icons, it's those images. So if I 
go back into my downloads folder. Downloads, downloads, SMN. So here's all the folders or the files. And I've scaled them down to 52 by 52 pixels because that looks the best in EVNG, in my opinion. Uh, but you can make it bigger, but then it looks kind of weird because a lot of the default icons of EVE is around 50 pixels. So if you make it bigger, you're gonna have this massive router and then this, <laughs> this teensy weensy EVE icon and it will look out of place. So try and keep it consistent. That's why I've made it the correct size for you already. So I'm just going to copy all of these over on WinSCP quickly. And I'm just gonna, well, I could just drag and drop them really going to drag them into Eve and there we go these icons are all inside this icons folder so if I navigate back into the Eve uh, program if I right click and I go edit now and I click on the icon and if I scroll down wow <laughs> freaking shocker man I've got a ton of extra icons I can use so I'm officially able to use these affinity icons that SMN created on the topology. So let's maybe use the router images. C uh, router, let's see if we can find it here. There's a switch. Come on, Mr. Router. Cloud. And I'm being bad. There we go. So I'm going to use the first one actually and save that. And see, it's there. And it's grayed out as well because Eve does that. It grays out the image if it's off. If you turn it on, it'll be its blue color. How cool is that? So we officially now have different icons that we can use. And you can use this with any other icons. If you have a different set of icons you might have bought somewhere, you can still import them the same way and use them in exactly the same way. Again, just a recommendation, make sure that you scale the images to 52 by 52 pixels and yeah that's it that's how you can import custom symbols into evng i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you again in another one see you around